Hey guys, the chickens here. We're back today with another home gym video. In today's video, guys, I'm going to show you a little trick. Very cheap, very inexpensive. It will make any barbell silent, uh, any barbell sleeve silent, and any sort of weight plates silent. And it only costs about $10, and you can do it for all your equipment. So let me go over here behind the curtains. Pay no attention to the chicken behind the curtains. And I'll show you guys this. Now, I've had this on for almost two years now, and I still have no issues, and it's still very silent. So what I'm talking about is UHMW tape. So it's literally just a plastic tape and you tape it on the inside of your weight plate. I guess you could put it on your barbell too, but I wouldn't recommend that because uh, there's more like taking stuff on and off. So it's more likely you're going to have to replace that over time than putting on the weight plates. So like I said, I've had this on for like two years and it doesn't even, if you see how I put it on, it doesn't even go around all the way. And it just makes the barbell completely silent when you put these on. So I'll do a, a comparison. So uh, this one, this one doesn't have, this one doesn't have any tape on it. And it's only 10 pounds, so it's not gonna be super loud, but you can hear it clearly. Versus the taped one, look at that. You can't even hear it at all. Now, if you like really reef on it, sure. But for what it costs and how well it works, I think that's the best way to silence your, your barbell. Now, you might say, chicken, why would I need to do that? Well, a lot of people need to do it because if you train, um, you know, and you got kids sleeping or, you know, if you're training at home, like we all are in home gyms, it's nice to be able to not make a ton of noise, especially if you have steel plates, they're very loud. Um, so, I mean, if you combine that with like, deadlift pads or you know just going slower and being you, you can dead you can work out in complete silence almost um so that works really well the only thing i would suggest if you are going to do this with a lot of your weight plates is make sure you've got really good collars because that the whole point of a grooved barbell sleeve which is what makes it zippy it's got those little cuts in the groove the idea, supposedly, I've heard, you know, multiple stories on this, but the idea is that it gives the plates better grip because it's not a smooth finish where the plate could slide off. Doing this with the tape will give you back that smooth finish, right? So much easier for the plates to slide off. Um, I've only done it with the little plates so far because um, I just don't have a need to silence everything right now. It is nice for sure, but uh, yeah. And the nice thing is, this might be something specific to me, but I love the sound of like, if you're deadlifting like four or five plates, five plates one day, um, and you get that nice little jingle between them, or if you're squatting and you step it back and you can hear them kind of clang together a little bit. I love that sound. That was one of the main reasons why I got metal plates. It might sound silly, but um, I just like it. And with this, you, you can still achieve that sound. You can still get that little rattle between them. Um, you can fix that by getting really good, sturdy, tight collars. Um, but it doesn't completely eliminate the noise in that sense. They're still gonna rattle together, but putting them on and off is gonna make it completely silent. So yeah, I would definitely recommend getting a really good set of collars. I'll show you one, you guys the ones that I have. Um, I would not recommend using the spring collars like really ever, They're, they kind of suck. Unless you're not doing that much weight, but I've got these ones from Rogue. Uh, these are aluminum collars. Funny, it's from Rogue, but it doesn't actually say Rogue on it anywhere, which is kind of a surprise. Um, but these work awesome. I can put these right on the end, lock them up tight, and the, the plates don't budge. So something similar to this, there's a million of them out there, like lockjaw collars are good ones. Um, anything that's made out of aluminum typically is decent. Um, and I know Coop did a test on like every single barbell collar that there is, and he was like jumping up and down on the ends of them. So anything that he recommends from there, that, that's probably going to be solid enough, but for collars, you probably want to spend around $20 to $30 to actually get a decent pair. And it's a good investment because even without doing the tape thing like I was talking about, um, you should have a good set of collars. You, you really should, especially if you're lifting alone. Number one, for safety. And then number two, you don't want the plate to fall off and damage your floor, right? I've had that happen before. That sucks. Because um, it's your floor. It's not the gym. So, um, yeah, a good set of collars pairs really well with um the uhmw tape on the inside of the of the weight plates um it's just going to make a really good difference so um 
yeah, that was basically it. That was, uh, that's, that's how to silence them. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything else I really want to talk about. So I'll leave you guys with that. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more home gym tips and updates and news and whatever, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Catch you next one, guys.